What's up guys, FD is now over, today is Sunday, and now we have a Lone Star Drift in the Texas Street Legal uh, Competition. It is an awesome series, uh, handled by a Lone Star Drift by Aaron Losey, it's awesome. And uh, they're practicing right now, it's for another hour, I think. I'm making a few ride-alongs right now to the, to the course. Right now I'm like taking notes for next year, because I really want to drive this series next year. I'm taking as much notes as I can to see what I need to do, come prepared, and not come unprepared. The worst thing to do is come across the country unprepared for a huge event like this. So, taking notes. Gonna ride, a few, gonna ride a few cars and just watch and spectate. Right, we're in Nick's LS S13 right now, going for ride along. And we're gonna, we have the motor off. The motor's good. off. It's okay. It'll go back on. See, we're good. Alright, so Nick's car is having some front grip issues. He's running 215 Kenda, but like on the last turn, it's rolling over majorly. All you can see all this burned rubbed off rubber on the outer on the sideline. Freaking LS cars. Anyway, the sidewall tire is really, really worn out from the uh, thorn into that last corner because you have a lot of a lot of grip in the rear, a lot of power. The major issue with drifting is front grip. In my car, I had the same issue years ago. Well, last year, I put RSRR, styled in suspension. I haven't had an issue, but I like grip, grip is important, but like, especially on a track like this, you gotta have front grip. So, hopefully you can work out the issue and then uh, kill it out there. But you're doing really good. Kill it, bro. Oh, yeah. Get it, Nick. Yes. Do not hit the wall. We no proximity to the wall is being judged. Does that make sense? That wall doesn't exist. Don't get close. Don't hit it. Don't do anything with that wall. Leave it alone. Okay. You enter in, 
We'll have an inside clip and inside clip. You do not need to hit those clips, just don't be way off of them if that makes sense. We put them about three feet to two feet onto the rumble strip, if everybody knows where the rumble strip is there, just so that when you are driving, you know where to be and the judges have a reference point. You do not need to get closer than two feet to them because everybody runs them over, because we're going very fast through there. Does everybody understand that? It's not gonna be a surprise clipping point in a part of the track that you haven't gone through, and they are not clipping points that you need to adhere to strictly, if that makes sense. The best part of the track, where we really know what's going on, is down here. We want, and I'll walk you guys out there in just a minute. Um, we want you, they basically painted exactly where you need to be. It's almost the exact same thing as the FD line out there in reverse. Like, oh, so when you get close to the other car. <laughs> <laughs> I think most You'll of you get there, don't worry, man. <laughs> Injectors, you can't really do motor swaps, you can't do a bunch of stuff. Keeps the cars much more reliable, cheap, fun, and uh, kind of even most of the time, although we do have a Corvette in the field now, which kind of beats up on the Miatas. I don't know if I'd want to drive a Miata against a Corvette or any other full size car. Um, so we're going to have this competition, it's about 1 30. We're going to be So that was the Texas Street Legal Series. Now they're going to Pro Am. Pro Am is obviously more advanced cars, more advanced driving, and something I'd like to do next year. But uh, the Texas Street Legal is really awesome to watch. But now it is Pro Am, and Pro Am is more interesting, more faster, crazier cars, more advanced driving. But all in all, the guys who drove just drove, drove great. Now so for some advanced driving. Get it, Nick. Bumper's still good because that's KBD. So uh, there you go. Once again, look at that shit. Digging through dirt, not breaking. Yep. Look at that. Yep. Look at that. That's why I have my car too. It's the best. Doesn't look that good, but it, it works. Oh man. Look at that. Hell yeah. really 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 fast
guys that'll do it for today's video i am drifted out to be honest i'm tired it's super hot here the lone star is an awesome event i'm definitely gonna drive next year but uh i'm just really drifted out i can't like stand i love drifting but like watching for four days and not driving is absolutely like torture and drives me crazy overall a great event just really tired really hot ready to go home i'm gonna show off the rest of the night and fly out tomorrow back home i'm gonna get back home i'm gonna do some uh, maintenance to the car I gotta figure out my cooling you know get some more seat time and uh, after being here, I definitely want to come back here next year and drive. But Texas is an awesome place. Love it here. Love the people. But all in all, great trip. Uh, once again, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe. See you guys tomorrow. Also, hit the notification button so you know when I post videos. But uh, peace out. See you guys later.